Flemingsburg, eh? I can't rightly say I've ever been to Flemingsburg. Well, sir, unless you want to be under the thumb of the abolitionists, you better not go there now. Well, I never thought Kentucky would be run by players and pro-white trash. Some mighty fine folks in Kentucky. Yes, sirree, and more of them are coming south every day. Well, isn't that just giving up your state to the Yankees? Well, they've got it already. They're so strong in the legislature that they passed a law that any man that fights for the South forfeits his state's rights within citizenship and land and holdings. Has it come to that? Yes, sir. I know that to be true. The governor of Kentucky has four sons. Two of them are fighting for the Yankees, and two of them in my regiment. They were telling me that unless we won, they could never go home again. Damn Yankees. Chest, you're at table. You quit your swearing. Damn Yankee ain't swearing, Mother, and you know it. Oh, Jim, maybe the brave Kentuckians would like to join your regiment. I'd be mighty proud to have them. If you could wait a couple of days until this comes off, I'd take you into Chattanooga with me, see that you were introduced to General Ledbetter himself. Well, we'd be honored, sir, but we'd rather had our heart set on enlisting in the 1st Georgia Regiment. Some of our friends have already joined it, and we're anxious to push on if the river will let us. 1st Georgia? Did you hear that, Mother? No river's going to hold you back. That ferryman doesn't like flood water. But he'll take you over the first thing in the morning, or he'll find himself out of a job. I knew it. I knew Jess McIntyre would help you. They're helping us, ain't they? Yes, sir. Reza, give them boys some more chicken, you hear? Yes, ma'am. You're all very kind. Kinder than we deserve. That's right. That's right. Oh, you won't have no trouble at all. Just as soon as folks find out what you're up to, they'll put the big pot in the little one. Well, look who's here. Dan six, but you're wet. What you need is some of Aretha's cooking, Mr. Andrews. Sounds mighty good. It smells even better. I think I'll get warm first. Amen. Aretha, fetch Mr. Andrews that peach brandy, you hear? Yes, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, I have great news. On the strength of it, I'd ask you all to have a glass with me. If I knew the color of your politics. You needn't worry about these boys. They've been living amongst the Yankees, but they're coming out on the right side. Good. We won a great victory at Shiloh. Did Beauregard lick that buzzard grab? Cut him to ribbons. Yay! What about the Yankee gunboats at Pittsburgh Landing? A hundred of them sunk and thousands of prisoners taken. The whole Yankee force gone up the spot. Oh, no. oh, no. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a toast. The Confederacy. You don't seem...